Well, organizers are getting ready for the 80th annual Boar's Head and Yule Log Festival. The pageant is the oldest of its kind in the country, and this weekend you can experience it. Nine on your side's Palosoro takes us behind the scenes of the historic festival. <laughs> It's a miracle on 4th Street. One, two, three. It's amazing how it happens with so little rehearsal. Turning Christ Church Cathedral from this to this in a matter of days. It just will take your breath away with how beautiful their costumes are and their music and lighting. This weekend for the 80th time, Cincinnati will experience the Boar's Head and Yule Log Festival here. We are the oldest continuing Boar's Head and Yule Log Festival pageant in, in the country, in this country, so that's kind of exciting. It goes back to our English roots. We're an Episcopal church. Bob Byring would know. It is part of my DNA now. I mean, when you get started to it, it just becomes part of your spirit. He went from being in the pageant for 15 years to directing it for 40 more. I will not let Bob ever retire. And because of his devotion to the festival this year, he was asked to be part of the show once again. And said, you know, it makes sense that maybe you be the Lord and my wife being the lady of the manor. So I felt very honored in this. So for the first time in 40 years, I'll be on the light side of the stage. He is the engine that runs this show. The rest of that engine involves more than 350 people. There's a cast of 185, a choir of 80, an orchestra of 50, and another 50 people backstage. This miracle on 4th Street coming together with just one rehearsal on opening day. We really walk out feeling like we are filled with a spirit, a, a light that we want to just share with the world. An experience you can see for free. This is our gift to the city. Paolo Lucero, 9 on your side.